What's going on? Fastest way to bind the Tyrannus transmitter with Crossfire to a Crossfire Micro or Nano RX on your new drone. Two minutes, no Lewis scripts. Let's do it. Can't have a YouTube channel without a purple light. Anyway, into the video. What's going on everyone, Scott Berwick here. I'm just finishing up a couple of new drone builds with Crossfire receivers. One with the Crossfire Micro RX and one with the Crossfire Nano RX. And I'm about to bind them up to my Tyrannus transmitter. There's a really, really easy way to bind the two without having to go into the Tyrannus and mess around with Lua scripts. It's a couple of buttons, takes about two minutes. Let's get straight into it. So hopefully this makes sense. So. This is the back end of the drone that we've just finished building. In here is the Crossfire Micro RX and this is the Crossfire TX on the back of the Tyrannus transmitter. So the two areas that we're going to keep an eye on is the LED down here on the receiver and the LED on the back here of the transmitter. So this is assuming that you've set up the basic model on your Tyrannus. You've got the external RF selected. Now we just need to bind the two. So first step, power them both up. Welcome to OpenTX. So we see on the receiver on the drone side that that's slowly flashing green, which means it's ready to bind. If it's not doing that, if it's flashing really fast green or if it's red, just hold down the button on that receiver for about 10 seconds until it starts flashing green. The TBS manual says that you only need to hit that bind button once to get it into bind mode, but on both the micro and the nano, found that I had to hold it down for about 10 seconds to get it into bind mode properly. I'm not sure if that's a second hand part thing or what. But. And the transmitter is pulsing yellow, which means that's ready to go. So you just click the transmitter once. Now this will pulse blue and the receiver's flashing red. So what that means is that there's an update that needs to happen between the two. So to confirm, just hit the TX button once more. So the TX has gone solid blue, the RX has gone solid green, which means that that update between the two is occurring. So just leave them to do their thing for a while. It takes about 30 seconds or so. What else can this do? Oh, that's unnecessary. So once this finishes its update, the RX is gonna flash green fast and the receiver is gonna pulse yellow, like so. So now we just wanna disconnect them both. Now repower them both again. Welcome to Open TX. So now the TX is pulsing yellow, the RX is flashing green. So just hit the TX button once more. And they should both turn solid. Okay, now they've both turned solid green. You're good to go. Now the way to check that the bind was successful is have a look at the Tyrannus and you'll see this value here, which is showing the connection to the drone. If the bind wasn't successful, you'd only see the battery charge of the controller itself there. That's it, you're bound, good to go. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully that helps a few of you out. If you do have any problems or questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer where I can. And if you could please subscribe to the channel, that'd be much appreciated. That'll help me to keep making these videos and helping out where I can. In the meantime, have a good day and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.